Good morning, guys. Thanks for listening to Coffee with Christ. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button below. Share these with your friends. It's Thanksgiving week, guys. I'm super excited. I love Thanksgiving. I love Christmas. So um, it's hard to not let Christmas oversee Thanksgiving because I love Thanksgiving as well. And so the rest of my neighborhood has up Christmas decorations, Christmas lights, trees, but I am still sporting all of my fall decor until Thanksgiving. And so I'm hanging on, I'm hanging on and just trying to let it be what it is, to be thankful for the things in our life. And if anything, if anything, we need some thankfulness in 2020. We need some thankfulness every year, but right now especially. And so this is going to be short. Actually, I just wanted to let you guys know, I think I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to take the rest of the week off and spend it with my family, just being thankful. It's not that I'm going to not have coffee with Christ because that's a given in my life. I need that because I am mean and nasty without it without him, without sitting and, and coming to Jesus. I am not very nice. So that's not going to end, but I'm not going to get on here and talk to you guys. So I just want to encourage you to spend some time with your family, have coffee with Christ and, and, you know, just really be in prayer. If you have some spare time, I know it can get hugely busy at any holiday, but pull yourself away and pray. I know this morning I just had so much heaviness on my heart you know um you can feel it right tangible I know I'm not the only one that at different times it's not only this year it's just called life that it, it weighs and it's heavy and you know different seasons or times but I I just have felt it and so I needed just to pull myself away and just spend some extra time with Jesus, whatever that looks like. There's no formula. There's no, oh, you have to pray this, do this. That's why I just, there's no formula. It's just allowing Jesus to come in and minister to those parts, that heaviness. What is that about? And so I just want to encourage all of you because I know the holidays as a whole can bring heaviness to certain people at certain times, but just this season, just get alone and let Jesus minister to your heart. I am, I mean, I've done cried off all my makeup today because he's just so good about doing that, coming in to those parts that we need. And so I just want to leave you today with a scripture out of first Peter. And, um, it says the end of the world is coming soon. Now, Remember, they've been saying this since Peter. The end of the world is coming soon. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Let this wash over you as an encouragement. Let the Holy Spirit help you to be earnest and disciplined in our prayers. Most important of all, most important over your prayer life. This is most important of all, it says. Continue to show deep love for each other. For love covers a multitude of sins. You know, we can be disciplined and we can be prayer warriors and we can be dealing with things in our prayer closets that need to be done. But more important than any of that, no one's going to listen. It's going to it's gonna taint our just our, our soul if we're just nasty, mean humans. If we're letting our heart be full of hate for people who don't believe like we believe, you know, whatever that means, or people who are rude to us or mean to us or stressed out, you know, so most of all, it says, most of all, continue to show deep love for one another, you know, because that will cover a multitude of sins. So let's just let that wash over you. Let the Holy Spirit minister to you. That is my encouragement through this season. And I will talk to you on Monday. So a few days from now, but I'll be back and I'll talk to you then. And I just want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving and thanks for listening to these. Bye.